I don't think that any team or event venue wants the publicity associated with a super spreader event, for example. The Edmonton Oilers becoming the latest Canadian sports team to announce a proof of vaccine policy for fans and staff. Six NHL and seven CFL teams are doing the same so far, and that may create a snowball effect in other industries. As we see bigger organizations announce uh, vaccine passports, that we'll start to see smaller businesses take these up, and I think it certainly could become uh, the norm. So, well, businesses will take a lead in regard to voicing their support for it because they'll feel that it's a way to get people back to their back to their businesses. They can download that information and then uh, apply it to whatever venue they want to enter. Meanwhile, BC became the third province to adopt a proof of vaccine card, joining Quebec and Manitoba. But the Alberta government has said they have no intention to mandate vaccine passports. That inaction could create issues. And so when the government isn't the one making policy, it, the possibility is that the policy that's made in their absence will be one that has concerns with privacy or with discrimination. But experts say a Vax passport would be no different than showing your driver's license at the local liquor store. If you just think of these things as, as cards with your vaccination status on it, you still control who gets to see it. You're just carrying around this card. And while accommodations may need to be made for health or religious exemptions, being turned away from a hockey game for being unvaccinated isn't considered discriminatory. This isn't an immutable characteristic that you have. This is a decision that you make. Get vaccinated or don't get vaccinated, and decisions have consequences. But health policy experts concede a patchwork approach across the country could lead to some confusion. If provinces have a different passport to what the fed federal government has, you know, what does it, which passport do you use if you go to your gym or you know, the movies? Still, early evidence shows vaccine passports can curb transmission, and it also has younger people reconsidering their hesitancy and apathy toward getting the shot. The evidence from places like France show that, that this can nudge those individuals to get vaccinated. Sporting facilities, entertainment facilities are those facilities that this demographic probably wants to go to, right? Scott Frolick, City News, Edmonton.